charcuterie. 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 Hello super fans and welcome back again to the second part of my vlog regarding charcuterie and here I'm going to show you my step-by-step -step preparation from the very beginning until the end since I'm going to do another spread for my cheeses and meats so I'm going to prepare the table with the cling wrap Just a tip, whenever you put the cling wrap on, just make sure it's overlapping so there'll be no spillage of the food or any fluids on your play ball or any spreads that you're going to prepare. Make sure that you press the cling wrap properly on the surface so there'll be no bubbles on it and that it'll be neat and nice. The good news is that I've already purchased two cheese bars which I'm going to showcase all my cheeses. So what I did, I just cut two baking paper on top of my cheese bars just to protect them from any discoloration just in case I put more cheeses or any other chocolates on top of it. I just made it secure by putting on a cello tape on the side so that it'll be easier for me to throw it away later on. So I've decided to put designs on the baking paper itself. So I started bringing in the ingredients, starting off with ricotta cheese and salsa. I started organizing my cheeses on top of the cheese board. So I'm, I'm beginning to take out all my cheeses starting with the blue cheese and I've actually bought two types of blue cheeses. And then also I have the cheddar cheese and also the cheese triangles plus the brie which is also one of my favorite and also some cheddar cubes which i've actually cut earlier so i have the red grapes also i bought several crackers such as the plain one i have the salting crackers and also i have the walnut and the almonds just like I mentioned from my previous charcuterie video, I also have the dried fruits such as the dried mangoes and also peanuts as a part of the nuts. And then I'll have the honey as one of the spreads. Also, I have uh, prepared some cheese knives so that the guests can actually help themselves by cutting the cheeses on their own if they wanted to put it on top of the crackers. Camembert, another type of soft cheese, is also part of the spread. Sliced ham, salami, and also the chicken and beef hams. I normally add fresh rosemary as a decoration and also for aroma. Chocolate bar, also the lancello and the breadstick. We also have the cream cheese as part of the dips and also the sliced apples as one of our fruit. For the apple fruit, normally I cut it into halves and then I just slice it thinly so that it will just be uh, nice to uh, use as a decoration on your spread. I've also added cherry tomatoes on the menu. 
I also prepare the sliced guava, wash and then I just uh, thinly sliced it. We still have our leftover bananas so I just decided to put it on the spread. I know that uh, with so many ingredients that we have on the table, it might be overwhelming for you but little by little you'll be able to see the development as you progress. This is also one of my favorite ingredients, the mini pretzels and then I also have the Pringles or any crisp that you will decide to put it on the spread. I don't normally have a rule for uh, preparing the cheese bread or the, the charcuterie on my own. So what I do is like I just try to put a balance on it by uh, putting fruits on the side and then together with the crisp and then also with the crackers and the fruits. Some of the charcuterie, they put the cheese in the middle because that will be the, the main course that you have to put together with the meats. But in this case, I just put it on the side and then I just put everything on the other side. So I also have uh, chocolate bars which is a Toblerone aside from the Cadbury which I have actually um, shown you earlier. One of my housemates, Kat, actually joined me in preparing for the charcuterie. It's so nice to see that everything is coming into places as you combine all the ingredients for your spreads. By the way, but first things first, before you do the, all the preparations, you must try to make sure that you wash your hands properly. I normally keep a rubbish bin handy and also a plastic bag maybe so that if you have anything that you need to throw straight away, you can just put it there, uh, especially for all the packaging from your nuts, from your fruits and also from your meats. As you notice on the middle, uh, I put the, the plate on top of another glass so that it just creates a, a different dimension. Another tip is that you can use a cake tear so then you can put all the other ingredients in there like the chocolates, uh, mini cakes or the other meats and other cheeses as well. Whenever you're preparing the spreads or the charcuterie, sometimes you can't help yourself but to, uh, to eat also like Casey's doing. It's been 45 minutes uh, since we started and then we're almost done like maybe 80%. Uh, we're just trying to organize the decorations itself. Remember the cheddar cheese uh, on the rectangular shape which I've shown you earlier. So I cut that one diagonally so that it will be creating a triangular look. So it will be look nicer to see. So for the massive rounded ham, so what we do is we fold them to shape like a flower and uh, in order to hold that one in place, you need uh, toothpicks uh, on that one so that uh, it will look nicer. For the small round salami, no need to fold in it. Uh, all you have to do is just try to lay everything flat on the table or on your cheese board or on your spread uh, so that it will like just look uh, very nice. Uh, I use that one as a border as well. So for the remaining ingredients or other meats or fruits or nuts, 
Uh, we just tried to fill in uh, some of the gaps and also some of the spaces. So some of them are really sneaky on getting food. And for our final touch, we have prepared all the wines that we're going to drink together with our charcuterie. Alright guys, we're finally done after an hour and we have to congratulate myself and Kat for preparing everything for all of us. Here are some of the snippets from the side camera so that you can be able to see what's happening on the side. It was quite a lovely evening with friends and uh, don't forget to watch the next video for the last part of the charcuterie.